Hi, my name's Steve. Welcome to Devotions at 7 on Friday. I've got something a little bit different for you tonight. Um, a lot of you will know that Katie is heading out to the UAE to start a new job in August as a PE teacher out there. And so I thought it would be just a good opportunity to hear from Katie about um, yeah, how she's been led out to um, this point, what she's looking forward to, what she's perhaps apprehensive about and how we can pray for her. When Katie's finished, um, we will then pray for Katie as well together um, as we close our devotion. So without further ado, here's Katie. Uh, hi everyone at TCF, um, for those who don't know me, my name is Katie um, and I've pretty much come to TCF my entire life for as long as I can remember. Um, Steve just asked me to do a little bit um, of an update on what's happening with me and um, just to let everyone in the church know um, what's been going on. So if I look down, I keep looking at my phone just to make sure that I'm actually answering um, what Steve's asked me to. So. Um, the first one is, for those who don't know, um, I am moving to live in the UAE um, in August. So a lot of people obviously just think of that as Dubai. It just, it's just outside of Dubai. Um, I'm moving there to be a PE teacher um, in a school out there. So I'll be living out there. New life, new church, new school, new job, new everything. So yeah, that is, um, that's what's going to be happening mid-August, hopefully, as long as I'm allowed to get out there. Um, so Steve just asked me why and um, why I picked there. Basically, um, it was a bit weird. I first choice, like I've always known that I wanted to work abroad. I think when I was at uni, I kind of always had this idea of you know when I get my qualification, I would love to go and teach abroad. Um, and um, for those who know me quite well, I go to America every summer and do camp out there. So I, this would have been my sixth summer, um, going out there. So I love America. Well, it's quite um, over the top, which I love, um, and very sociable, just exciting. I, I just love the lifestyle out there, so I've been hoping to go out there, um, but nothing was really opening, uh, nothing was really happening. Um, it's, it's very difficult to, to get a, a PE teaching job out there, so um, I wasn't able to get anything. So I was kind of letting go of the idea that that was um, going to be a possibility and thought maybe I'm not going to be able to do teaching, it might be something else. Um, then last October with my parents we went out to Dubai just for a holiday and a bit of a break because um, uh, our friends live out there. It wasn't really somewhere I'd particularly had much interest in before um, but I was pretty keen to go on the holiday just um, just from what other people said who'd been out. Um, so yeah I went and was blown away by the place like it's just like a whole new world if you've ever been you'll totally understand what I mean by that. It's uh, yeah, it's amazing and totally not what I thought, not what I expected and I just thought it was um, such a great place. So yeah, I was like, after being there, like this is this is somewhere I could um, to go. Um, did you sense or know God leading you in that way? Um, I think when I was out there, this was obviously every time I go away on holidays, so I was playing in my head like, could I see myself here? living here, working here, and I could when I was there. And people had said to me, like when I said I was a teacher, like, oh, you should come and work out here. We've got lots of international schools and stuff like that. And it was kind of in my head um, when I got home, like, wow, that would be maybe something to look into and to look at. And then um, a job had actually come up in my friend's school who lives out there um, as a PE teacher. So I thought, wow, okay, absolutely. It's an American school, so I thought America and Dubai, absolutely. So I applied for that um, and I didn't hear anything back um, and I was pretty gutted. Nothing seemed to be coming for, um, from it. I was like, this isn't happening. Um, so quite a while well went by, nothing was happening and then I got an email one day from another school which has seen my application which I put like on the uh, generic site as well and um, just saying they were really interested in me and stuff and the day that I got that email the night before I had been in tears and um, just saying to God like you know am I meant to go abroad am I not if I'm meant to stay here I just pray that I would be content here and know what I'm supposed to do here just because I've not really been content in, in Perth for a while now so, um, yeah, I think after that prayer, you know, I just decided I needed to just listen a wee bit more. 
and um, and when I woke up and had an email from the school, which was such a lovely email as well, I was like, wow, okay, so maybe God does have a, a plan for me to move out there, just not where I maybe wanted to go. And um, very quickly, the school um, arranged an interview with me online, um, lots of emails back and forth, and then the interview, and a couple of hours after the interview, they told me that um, they'd like to give me the job. So it was mental how it happened. The head teacher is from the UK. He was a lovely, lovely guy. Um, very complimentary, just made me feel like really wanted by the school, which I think as a teacher can be quite rare because normally it's like you want us because you want our job. But um, yeah, that was it was just amazing how the timing of when I got the email and how clear I felt like I was meant to go to that school. So I really did feel like um, that's that's where God wanted me to go, even if it wasn't maybe originally what I planned. Um, what are you looking forward to? I think I'm. Um, I'm looking forward to a fresh start. I'm looking forward to. I love meeting new people. I love new cultures, and I love being abroad. Um, that's why I always go away abroad. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think just now it's difficult because it's all a wee bit unknown with the virus going on. Exactly what's going to happen? Will I be in the school? Uh, will I have to teach from home because I can't fly out there? And um, you know, there's lots of suggestions being sent to me, like guaranteed that I have the job and I start teaching in that school officially on the 16th of August, however it might be that we're all teaching online from here um, as well lots of other teachers who are from all over the world. Um, so I mean I think I'm focusing on that just now that there's a lot of things that you know are a bit unsettling just now when I go out there will I have to isolate and all that stuff but um, I think I'm just looking forward to well, getting sun, I'm sick of this weather, um, but yeah, I'm honestly just looking forward to being a bit more independent, uh, well, obviously love with mum and dad, it's just been amazing for most of my life, and um, I, you know, I have loved that, I really do love living with them, just call them my flatmates, um, but I am ready to just go out and do something completely different, and um, I'm just so excited for, to honestly have this, like, it's like starting afresh, starting um, a whole new kind of life. Everything's going to be different, culture, everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for that. Like, obviously that makes people nervous and it makes me nervous, but I'm definitely more excited than I am nervous. So I think that's a really, really good thing. Um, what are you most apprehensive about? I just kind of answered that one. Um, and also like, so I found a church that I wanted to go out there and actually this week someone who used to live out there messaged me and just mentioned the church which is close to where I'm living and she said that she went to a sister church of it and that was really really good and I was like oh that's awesome because this is one I wanted to go to and, and she was like yeah no I think it would be really good. I looked at the website it looks brilliant and um, their stuff obviously has been online as well and um, I really enjoyed just kind of like watching it and getting a feel for the church I definitely think that's somewhere I would go. However, um, churches won't possibly, probably, most likely be meeting when I'm over there um, and I'm going to really miss that sense of community because that was going to be a major way for me to meet people. So I'm a bit um, gutted that that's uh, most likely going to be the case because I'm living by myself, got my own apartment that the school provides for me. It's actually 40 minutes from the school so it's not attached to the school. Um, but. I'm living by myself and I just felt like that was a way to really meet people um, apart from like work people as well so um, yeah I'm a wee bit gutted that's happening and things will be a wee bit different um, as they will be for everyone but I think when you're moving to a new country and then on top of that things are more unusual than they would be it's yeah everyone's going to be all over the place so it's not best timing but um, I also think that I've been waiting to do this for a while and this is the time that God's picked so obviously um, in his eyes it, it is the best time. For me to go. Strange now. Um, what can we pray for you about? Um, I just think the main thing is going to be obviously settling in. Um, knowing my track record, sometimes I can go to places for a while and it doesn't work out. Um, however, I'm going as a very different person this time, very different mindset, I'm in a much better place. Um, and I feel very ready for this and I also feel very called to do this. I don't feel like this is, it's obviously something I wanted to do but it's not the places that I chose or whatever and how it's all come about. Um, so I just really would value your prayers for settling in um, while I'm over there 
and meeting new people, meeting good people, and people who will help me to feel at home there, but also people who will help me to feel free to, you know, serve God out there to, to tell people I'm a Christian. Um, obviously it's a Muslim country but they're, they're very open to all religions um, as long as everyone's respectful, which is fair. Um, I think just living by myself, making sure I get everything sorted. Um, I want where I'm living to be home, I want that to be my home, so um, yeah, probably that, I can, like I can make a life out there. And um, just for a sense of calmness when things don't go as planned, you know, currently already things aren't going as planned. Um, I think if uh, you could just pray that I'm calm and just totally relying on God. I was meant to be going to America again this summer before um, I go away, um, but unfortunately camp has been cancelled. We just went out a couple of days ago um, this summer which uh, I'm very heartbroken about, um, but I'm trying to see this as, you know, maybe God wants me to prepare more for going um, out to Dubai. So, yeah, if you could just pray that I really do use this time wisely to prepare, and um, when I go there I'll just settle in and thrive and just feel totally free to, to be myself again. I probably haven't felt like that here for a while, so, yeah. But um, thank you to everyone who um, has sent some lovely messages and who has been there for me for my 25 years of life um, here in Scotland, in Perth and TCF. Um, I've really valued everyone's input in my life um, and I will be uh, sad to say goodbye to so many people um, but I know I'll, I'll be home to visit otherwise my mum will be raging. That's all my grand. So um, yeah, I'll be back um, but uh, I'm sure you'll be updated with my social media, you know what I'm like. So. That's just a little bit about what's going on in my life. Um, if I don't see you all before um, I go, which there's maybe a high chance, then I just hope that you're all safe and you all take care and I can keep in contact with you all. And if I do see you, then great, put the kettle on. Okay, thank you for listening and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye. Uh, thanks, Katie. Um... Let's just pray for Katie now as we close our devotion. Father, we just give thanks for Katie. We bring her before you. We just thank you that you have led her to this point, how you have um, just aligned and, and, the ti and, and timed all the arrangements that she feels called to go out to the UAE. And we thank you for how you brought her to this point. Father, as we bring her before you, we just pray that as she moves out, she will settle in. We just pray that as she meets new people, that those people would make her feel welcome. They would make her feel at home that, and also that they would help her to feel free to worship and serve you as she's out there. We pray as she begins to live out by herself in her own flat, we just pray she get things sorted and that it would just quickly feel like home for her. Father, give Katie a sense of calm. That perhaps when things aren't going right or arrangements aren't quite going to plan, that she would just have a reliance on you. That her experience of your timing so far would, would be something that she trusts into the future. We just... Uh, it's a real shame, Father, that Camp, Camp America and other camps around the world haven't been able to take place. But we do pray that you would um, lift Katie up and encourage her as she as she heads out. But I just pray that also she would use the time between now and August wisely to um, kind of finalise preparations to go. So we lift her before you, we give thanks for her, for how you've led her. And we just pray as you go out with her to UAE that she would settle in. It would feel like home, she'd find a church. She'd be able to worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining with us. Um, don't forget we have got our morning and evening services uh, coming up Sunday. We'll send links out for that um, before the services. We've got Pastor Jim continuing our series in the morning on moments with the Saviour. And then the evening, Ross Simmons continues our series in Nehemiah and Gordon Eunice. 
will lead us in communion. So see you on Sunday.